My name is Josie. I'm the museum director for the Ho-Chunk Nation Museum and Cultural Center here in Toma, Wisconsin. So in terms of Ho-Chunk tradition, Ho-Chunks have been making baskets since about the mid-1800s. We know, at least for black ash basketry, that they were made more frequently starting when tribes from out east and the east coast started moving into Wisconsin. Once Ho-Chunks finally were able to settle again after the genocide of removals, we find that Ho-Chunks were making baskets more frequently because they were an economic source for tribal members to be able to support their families. Tradition, we mostly talk about them first being an economic resource, so they were things that time went on. We see more and more decorative styles of basketry, however, it's still the same techniques used from when we started to now. So in terms of dyes, we find that um, tribal members were primarily using natural dyes like walnut, bloodroot, anything that produces color. Um, and then as the paper mills developed, um, tribal members were using paper dye to dye baskets. And then most recently, we've used fabric dye like writ and things you can buy at the store. Black ash. It is primarily found in marshes. So in order to go and find a tree, you have to be willing to like trek out into the swamp a little bit. But outside of that, it's really hard to find them. So prior to Emerald Ash Borer, it's about one in every seven trees was suitable for making a basket. So you need to find a tree that's completely straight up and down. You need to make sure there are no knots or branches within this first like seven feet. In the past, people were able to find trees that were clear of knots and branches for at least 12 feet. You don't see as much of that today just because we're having a die off in trees because of a tiny little beetle. You will see a lot of picnic baskets made by Ho-Chunks and they have a herringbone pattern on the bottom. Um, so that's typically one of the ways you can find Ho-Chunk baskets is because of the weave style on the bottom. You might see tiny little ones or round ones like this big with a lid. They're sewing baskets. You'll see more decorative ones that are like fruit baskets. And they have these little um, points around the rim and feet to help it stand. Outside of that, you can pretty much find any shape of basket you want. It just depends on who wanted to make what and when they were making it. With other communities, you'll see like a ton of loops and swirls all around the entire basket or like these decorative pieces along the rims and Ho-Chunk baskets are much more utilitarian in that sense, but they're still really strong and sturdy so they hold up for a hundred years. We are watching him, um, he's starting to whittle a handle for where the winding is gonna go for the handle to stay on. And it takes a while, and I'm gonna ask him while he's doing that, if he ever slipped and cut his fingers. <laughs> <laughs>